Over the last couple of weeks, I've taken some heat from Senate Republicans and conservative pundits for exposing two multi-billionaires. These are two oil barons, and they're trying to rig the political system to favor the rich and especially favor themselves. After the 14th statement issued by a spokesman for the Koch brothers, adverse to me, it seems abundantly clear that I've gotten under their skin. But as the saying goes, and the saying goes that uh, this came from the great Senator Pat Moynihan, who said, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but not to their own facts. But I guess the Koch brothers have been able to buy their facts over the years, not paying any attention to whether they were true or false. This week, media outlets from New York, uh, and especially the Times, to the Washington Post, to the Detroit News, have revealed the truth. And here is the truth. Millions in political ads sponsored by these two multi-billionaires are misleading at best and outright false in many instances. Mr. President, the truth is the Koch brothers are willing to do anything, even exploit Americans suffering from cancer to advance our campaign of distortion. Mr. President, you know, I'm not afraid of the Koch brothers. None of us should be afraid of the Koch brothers. These two multi-billionaires can spend millions of dollars of their money rigging the political process for their own benefit, but that doesn't mean we have to lay down and take it, because we're not going to. They may believe that whoever has the most money gets the most free speech. Mr. President, that is wrong, it's unfair, and it's untrue. I'll do whatever it takes to expose